Welcome to hackahobby.com. Today I am going to show you how to prepare an image uh, to be more laser friendly. Now this is kind of a generic tutorial. Um, it's a good starting point and uh, some settings may be a little bit different for different lasers but like I said it's a good starting point. Um, I'm going to be using Photoshop you can also use a free program called the GIMP. It's an open source program available for Mac, also available for PC, and uh, it's free. We all like free. Uh, so the techniques used here are going to be very similar on the GIMP, and perhaps I'll do a tutorial using specifically the GIMP later on. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I grab this picture from the internet. We're going to go to image image size and right now Photoshop is saying that this is going to be 23 inches by 17 inches that's a pretty big image alright we're going to decrease the size of that image to something that's more manageable the first thing we're going to do we're going to unclick resample image we're going to let's take it down to about 7 inches so it's scaled to 7 inches by 5 and a quarter inches that is much more manageable we're going to click OK. All right, now let me say that if you have a basic eBay laser, the ones that are about $700, those lasers do not have a lot of memory. And so 240 DPI is probably a little high. Um, since I'm going to prep this for one of those lasers, I'm going to go back and say image, image size, and I'm going to go to 140 DPI. And that's going to be more realistic. One of the things you'll notice on the less expensive lasers, if you do too high of a resolution of an image, um, the head will start, uh, the laser head will start going erratic. It'll, there'll be erratic movements, and that's because you've overrun the memory on that, on the the lasers. Um, on the more expensive lasers, it's typically not a problem. So let's go ahead and click OK. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this image and we're going to convert it to grayscale. Go to Image, Adjustments. I'm sorry, Image, Mode, Grayscale. We're going to flatten this image and discard all of the color information. Okay, we're getting much closer to our finished work here. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to increase the brightness and the, the brightness and the contrast. So we're going to bring out the brights and the darks. Um, making these more pronounced will actually uh, make the uh, laser engrave look a little bit more alive. So let's go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness, Contrast. We're going to change our brightness to 30 and we're going to change our contrast to 50. Now again, every image might be a little bit different. Um, these are the settings that I've chosen here. Uh, you may choose different settings. It's going to take some practice. But let's go ahead and click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring out, uh, we're going to make the uh, edges more defined. So we're going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Unmask. Look at that. Okay. This is going to look much better already, I can tell, when we laser engrave it. You can play around with your radius and your, your threshold levels. Um, I like to have the threshold level set to zero. And radius, that's where you can play with it a little bit. We can really beef it up here. But let's take it back to four because that's, that's what seems to work well for me. Click OK. All right, now we're going to convert this into a bitmap image. Now a bitmap image takes a lot less memory and there's really only two colors there. There's white and there's black. Right now the image is grayscale. So we're going to go into image, mode, bitmap. Our output is going to be 140 dpi. Now you can try different settings. There's half toning, uh, pattern dither, diffusion dither. Uh, for wood applications, for most applications, I prefer to use and dither. So let's go ahead and click on that. 
So now what you're going to see when I click here, the image is going to convert into a bunch of dots, uh, similar to what you would find on a black and white uh, newspaper. Voila. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. You can see that image is made up a, a bunch of dots. Now, with practice, you're doing this, um, you'll kind of get the hang of things, of, of how things will look on different materials, but this image is actually going to turn out quite nice. And uh, you can go ahead and save this image as a bitmap format. Uh, some uh, laser engravers accept uh, a GIF too. And there is a reason to use a GIF, and I'll explain that in another tutorial. But like I said, this image is pretty much prepped and ready to be sent to the laser, and I will be doing that also in a, another tutorial. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, taking some time and watching this video.